Red Glasses Talks. Uh, we've been talking about it's never too late to become a man or a woman of the Word of God, the Bible. And so the last few weeks, we've talked about some of the benefits of becoming a man or a woman of the Bible. Today, we're going to talk about another benefit, and that benefit is the Bible provides stability. And I was thinking about stability. You might want to look that word up and, and see what you come up with, stability. You know, I think we're living in a day and time now in our country and around the world when there's a lot of instability. And instability makes people very, very nervous and fearful. So uh, stability. When the storms come, and my dear friends, they will come. The pandemic came economic downturn, uh, the deep freeze in Texas, the foreclosures, the protests, the cancel people, the cancel culture, the cancel organization. They're somewhere. I don't know where they are. Who, who are these people? You know, it's kind of like if you go to a major city around the country and somebody said, how do I locate uh, the local uh, mafia office? And I, I said, well, just check out the yellow pages. Well, we don't check yellow pages anymore. Just, just check the directory, whatever it is, your device is. You're not going to find the number and the address for the local mafia organization. But let me tell you what, you know they're there. You can bet your life they're around. And so, therefore, uh, how about this cancel culture? Let me give you a few thoughts on that. Um, observe what is canceled. Have you thought about that? Observe what is canceled, the very people who don't want security and protection, and they really do want it, have become the canceled police. They are the police force with canceling. And so why don't they cancel? Here's just a question. Why don't they cancel the filth of the Grammys? The people who allow this kind of stuff to be on national television tells you a lot about where their mind is, doesn't it? And so where are all these brave, insecure, cancel people? I'll tell you where they are. They're hiding. And so when you do not respect yourself, you will not respect others, and you will cancel any and all threats to your security and to your point of view. That's where we are, my dear friends. And so the question I would ask, to us and to all these people who are doing some of these creative things is um, how's it working out for you? As you uh, are a part of this culture of cancel or cancellation, are you happier? Are you more fulfilled? How about the country in which you're operating doing all this? Is it healthier? Are you making a positive contribution to the well-being of the people in our nation? How's that working out? Someone said, you know, John, what you need and what we need in our culture is we need more broad-minded people. Well, my response to that is this, that I think we've become so broad-minded that we, we, when we bend over, our brains have fallen out. Well, that's something to think about. So the Bible provides stability. Let me read a passage of Scripture. Matthew 7, 24 to 27. Therefore, Jesus said, everyone who hears these words of mine and puts them into practice is like a wise man who built his house on the rock. The rain came down, the streams rose, the winds blew and beat against that house, yet it did not fall because it had its foundation on the rock. Verse 26, but, always look at the buts in the Bible, but everyone who hears these words of mine and does not put them into practice is like a foolish man who built his house on the sand. The rain came down, the streams rose, the winds blew and beat against that house, and it fell with a great crash. So here are the observations I want to give briefly today. In this passage, we have two houses, and we have two different foundations. By the way, a foundation for a house is critical to be able to uh, endure the storms it will go through, but also our lives need a solid foundation. 
The foolish man miscalculated the weather in the passage. The wise man knew the storms were coming. He anticipated them. He prepared for them. And so when they came, he was not caught off guard. He had built a firm foundation and the stability was there in his life because he based it on the word of God. Have you done that in your life? Over the years, when storms have come, disappointment has come, death has come, how have you handled that? How have you dealt with it? Were you prepared? Oh, you don't have to like it. I don't like storms, but they're going to come. And so here's my thought. Friends, it is going to rain, and if it hadn't rained with the storms of life yet for you, please don't put away or sell your spiritual umbrella. Keep it. You're going to need it. The time to change the foundation is not when it's raining, but before it rains. And the way you prepare for the storms of life is you've got to become a man or a woman of the Word of God. You've got to know it. You've got to get it into your heart and your life. And you have to do what the passage says. They practice what the book said. They did it. And as a result, they had stability. So the Bible offers stability. You think about that, and you might want to get in your book and see what God will do in and through you.